All right, and this video is for chapter three. It's the calculator video, and I'm looking at uh, the normal distribution here. Uh, you'll want to look at the uh, assignment sheet for this week for the questions that I'll be answering using the calculator. Here I have a normal distribution with a mean of 10, standard deviation of 2. I'm looking to find the proportion of values when x is less than 6. To do that, I'm going to follow, um, I'm going to press the following keys, the second key, then the distribution, and we have a normal distribution, which is the second one down, normal CDF, and I hit enter. I'm looking to find the values from negative infinity up to 6. The calculator does not have an infinity key, so as an alternate I do negative 1 times 10, which is the e to the exponent of 9 power. There's a paragraph just above this problem about why we do this. And then that goes to 6, so I do a comma, 6, standard deviation of 10, and a mean of, uh, excuse me, mean of 10, a standard deviation of 2, and I hit enter, and that's the correct solution. So the solution here is 0 0.228. Going on to the next one. Here with problem B, we're looking at the proportion of values when x is greater than 13. So we're going from 13 up to positive infinity. Do the same keystroke, second distribution. It's a normal CDF, number 2. I'm going from 13 to positive infinity, 1, E, 9, with a mean of 10, and a standard deviation of 2. Hit enter and I get the solution of 0 0.0668. So just about 7%. Going on to part C, find the proportion of values when x is greater than 6 but less than 11. I'm going to do a normal number 2 from 6 to 11 with a mean of 10 and a standard deviation of 2, enter, and that solution is just about 67% or 0 0.6687. Uh, part D, we're looking to find the proportion of values that are below 9 and then also above 12. I'll have to do two different calculations here. I'm going to do a second distribution, uh, number two, normal. And the first one's from negative infinity, so negative one, second, e, nine, negative infinity up to nine, with a mean of 10 and a standard deviation of two. Enter. So approximately 30%. So I'll go ahead and record that 0.308. Five, and I'm going to add that to, now we want to do it, the second proportion here. Um, and actually here's a point to, a uh, quick shortcut I can show you. Instead of doing the whole thing over again, the second distribution normally, you can do a second enter. That brought up what I had before. I'll arrow back up to the problem and just change what I need to change. 12, comma, and then it's positive 1, 2, infinity and then it's still a mean of 10 and a standard deviation of 2. Hit enter and that gives me 0 0.1568. Adding that to our other, um, other proportion of 0 0.3085 gives a solution of around 46%, 46, 7, 1, which would be our final solution for this one. All right, so now I'm looking at the second set of questions. This is where we're given a proportion and we're asked to find the x value or the horizontal value that gives us this proportion. All of the calculations or all of these calculations in the calculator need to be done with the shaded region to the left. The calculator will only accept 
shaded proportions to the left. So for the first example, it works out pretty straightforward. We want to find the value here. It looks like it's just below 9, 8 point something that makes this bottom 30%. To do that, I'm do, going to do a second distribution that is number 3, inverse norm. Inverse in math often means the opposite or uh, mapping back from. So that's what we're doing here. So I'm going to do a second distribution and then an inverse norm. That's number 3. And it's at the bottom 30%, so 0 0.3, 10, 2. So all we do with this feature is the bottom 30%, the mean standard deviation, hit enter, and just like we expected the output or the, um, the x values um, the x value is approximately 8.9512 or so. Going on to the next one, here we're given a proportion that's 40% or the top 40%. The calculator will only accept shaded regions to the left. So we acknowledge that if 40% is shaded to the right, then 60% must be shaded on the left. So I do a I'm going to just enter 60% here, 60%, and this will give me the output of approximately just over 10, which is what we expected. So the solution here, or the x value solution, is 10.5067. So the x value um, rounded to two four, uh, four decimal places is 10.5067. Going on to the next one, here I'm looking to find the x values that uh, for the top and bottom, or the bottom and top 10%. So I shaded 10% on the left and 10% on the right. Of course, 80% is in the middle. Um, to do this, we'll first find this value. So it looks like it's close to 8, between 7 and 8. To do that, I can do a second enter and bring this back up or go back and get it. Distribution number three, inverse norm. I'm doing 0 0.1, 10, 2. So again, it's the proportion shaded to the left, the mean, standard deviation, hit enter, and we get our solution is um, uh, our 7.5. Four, three, six, nine, and the other solution is, in this case, we can't enter a top percentage, in other words, a shaded region to the right in a calculator, we can only do regions to the left. If this is 10% shaded on the right, then there's a total of 90% to the left, so I do a I'll change this to 90%, Point 0.9, I hit enter, and that gives me a value of 12.56331. Going on to the last one, here we are looking for the shaded region of 80 in the center. Notice that this is very similar to what we did up here. In fact, this is the 80% shaded in the middle with 10% on each side. This is the same thing. So these solutions are going to be the exact same solutions that we had up here. So there's no need to do anything on the calculator for this one. All right, to summarize here, the normal CDF is used when you're given an X value and you're looking to find the proportion. And the inverse normal, or the inverse norm, is when you're given a proportion and asked to find the x value. It's common for students to get them swapped, so that's why I'm summarizing it here at the end. So again, normal CDF, given an x value, you're going to find a proportion. Inverse norm, you enter the proportion, and you get the x value out.